Woke up to some really amazing news today. Uh, Flutter announced null safety in technical preview. And we're going, going to learn a little bit more about null safety, what it is, and uh, how it will make our lives much easier. So uh, as they say that this uh, is uh, one of the largest releases after Dart 2.0. Question, why null safety? So if we go to say dartpad.dev and <coughs> null safety dot dartpad dot dev and we will just uh, uh, put them in separate windows and uh, uh, also rearrange them on a new screen so that we can compare side by side. Um, this is Dartpad, this is null safety version. I'll have this and yep. So, uh, this is Dartpad with null safety, this is Dartpad without null safety, and <clears throat> suppose uh, we're calling this uh, uh, function. So, let's uh, see, let's write a small function, okay. Uh, let's remove this and uh, yeah, <coughs> print length of array. And here, if I am to take a list of uh, type uh, dynamic and uh, call it list uh, and return say a print statement uh, one mm -hmm. print list dot Event. <coughs> cool. So now we will format this and uh, yeah. So let's copy this and uh, paste it over here. Now, if we say in main, we are calling with null, uh, we will not see any errors over here. And yet, if we press run in the runtime, it will show us that. <clears throat> there is a type error. Now with null safety, what will happen is if we print length of array null, <coughs> it will show us a compiler error that the argument of type null cannot be assigned to parameter of type list of dynamic. So the code won't compile with this because this is not uh, mentioned as uh, a nullable type. And if we run it, we cannot run it because uh, like it will not compile. So in this case, without null safety, the program compiled and the error was thrown in uh, runtime. So whenever an error comes in uh, runtime, it is very hard to track that error and with null safety it will not compile so it will give us that error uh, during program time and it will also the that linter will also tell us that uh, this is not right now second uh, so we're seeing how this uh, problems go away with null safety with null safety you can reason about your code with more confidence no more pesky runtime uh, run 
टाइम नल डिफरेंसिंग एरर्स इंस्टेड यू गेट स्टैटिक एरर्स एज यू कोड नाउ साउंड नल सेफ्टी वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ साउंड नल सेफ्टी इट मीन्स दैट दैट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर दैट फाइल्स लिस्ट एंड एलिमेंट्स इन इट कैन नॉट बी नल एंड दिस अलाउज दैट टू अवॉइड सम नल चेक्स इन ए ओ टी कोड विच मीन्स वी आर लाइक गेटिंग सम वेरी गुड परफॉर्मेंस आउट ऑफ इट now the design principles around null safety is that everything is non nullable by default so if you are declaring say uh, this list of dynamic this is non nullable now if i am sure that this uh, does uh, like uh, uh, like if i want it to be uh, null so this is how i will have to code and or uh, like if we say this <coughs> the code will run and uh, it will print null which is actually the value of uh, list dot length where list does not exist at all so null safety is allowing us to explicitly mention that something is null it is like uh, uh, helping us a lot in this um so things are non nullable by default incrementally adaptable so if we like uh, take our existing code from non uh, nullable type and just implement this the code will run we will still be getting those run time errors but the code will compile and run except like uh, for those times where like we are giving a null input to a non nullable output now it is fully sound which means once you migrate your whole project and your dependencies to null safety you reap the full benefits of soundness like there is no like uh, exceptions to it declaring variables with null safety so if i am saying where i equal to 42 b equal to 4 or m equal to this so this can never be null we have to declare it with a uh, layer of <coughs> like we have to initialize this variable to something other than null that will make sure that you never assign null to any of the above variables if you try to do i equal to null a thousand lines later you will get a static analysis error and red squiggly lines as your program will refuse to compile so if i say uh like suppose this is an old list and if i say old list equal to null this will give me an error because one uh, this is a final variable so even if i call it where now this will give me an error that a value of type null cannot be assigned to a variable of type list of int now if i do the same thing here <coughs> change this final into where and uh, say old list equal to null oh 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 this is allowing me to do this and this is not safe from a perspective of null safety and this is not allowing me to do this <coughs> assignment and that is how that is protecting us from exceptions caused by getting stuff in null or null stuff in run time so we can use this question mark thing and like if we have to assign absolutely have to assign null to uh <laughs> variable we can assign this like uh, with a question mark but then we will have to uh have uh something like this so and <coughs> <coughs> so
so this is one of the feedbacks that i could come up with that uh, like there should be a type like uh, var question mark uh, which allows me to like declare variables with dots type inference uh, with uh, nullability uh, but like uh, it's fine uh, we can deal with this as well and this uh, is how this is legal in this whole thing now you we might be thinking that this is allowing us to uh, you know market as null then where is the null safety so like where suppose i would uh, be uh, you know uh, doing something like this old list dot for each and uh, this will do something like this and uh, it will give me an item and then I will just print this item <coughs> and uh, I think uh, it will be safe but uh, here the problem is expression whose value can be null must be null checked before it can be dereferenced so it is telling me that uh, this old list is uh, you know uh, this can be null so we cannot call for each on this without uh, first checking for So the question is how do we check this thing? So if old list is not equal to null old list dot for each uh, how do we solve this error? Like a value whose variable I think <coughs> if we format this and have something like uh, question mark yep and now for each will handle it like that and uh, we are having a uh, this null and uh, since this is null this will not be called at all and so this is mostly about what null safety is. Uh, it uh, the team has made it very easy for us to use. So if loudness equal to equal to null, uh, something if loud, and after that like else, play sound honk dot wav volume loudness dot clamp. So here uh, like uh, this uh, loudness is in question mark, but uh, then also it is allowing us to access this. Uh, without this question mark because we have uh, checked for null before so it's almost uh, same here like if uh, uh, if if uh, old list equals to null uh, do something else uh, if we do something like this with a single line, so it works. Uh, I think if I format this and remove this question mark, uh, it should not give me an error. <coughs> so as you can see, like uh, this is not working completely. As promised because this where uh, if we are already checking for loudness equal to equal to null and then in the second uh, like loudness or clamp here yeah, we do not need to check for you know question mark so this is something that's confusing uh, This convenience is enabled by something called flow analysis. Dart analyzer goes through your code as if it was executing it. So, uh, 
let's see if we can uh, uh, do this. So I'll just paste this over here. And like, suppose if I commented this one out, uh, it will tell me that result is null because there is a uh, case in the whole flow where the result <coughs> is not assigned. Now, uh, there is something uh, called a late keyword that has been introduced. Uh, this late keyword is something like late in it uh, from Kotlin. Um, so late in it from Kotlin would be uh, something where like you can initialize non nullable uh, non nullable in, uh, variables and then initialize them later uh, with the uh, like you are responsible for initializing it before uh, you access it. Otherwise, you will get runtime errors. So the way this will work is. Uh, class hello and let string wor word equal word and then there's an init function where like <coughs> you have word equals to word and then you have this uh, print function where we just uh, print it function where I just call print and uh, we will uh, uh, word okay so this late keyword allows us to do something like this hello hello equals to hello and then hello dot print it and if i run it <coughs> the word has not been initialized so this once again is something we need to take care of when using late it is our responsibility that we are calling hello dot in it so this is where like uh, when we say uh, late uh, we're telling to this uh, compiler that trust us this is a non nullable string but uh, we cannot uh, initialize it just now uh, what we can do is we can ensure that from our part we will initialize it before accessing it so this is what this late keyword does uh, this is slightly dangerous because it puts uh, this responsibility on us that we need to initialize this before uh, accessing now that's it uh, for feedback we have just few uh, just two one is like uh, we uh, should have something like this and second is uh or something like this even um i i don't think it is useful so this is uh, useful like we could have type inference while having this so a where question mark type and so is there Okay, so this is uh, one of the things that we could have and the second thing that I saw was that uh, that uh, null check wasn't working with arrays. Uh, so that is one thing that we need to uh, look into. That's it for this video and uh, <clears throat> hope you like it. Uh, just Stop it.